Now, Keith Freeman is facing a federal charge, but he is not, we're told, by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago in federal custody tonight. But people here at Dalton Village Hall say they haven't seen him either since word of that indictment dropped just a few hours ago. The man responsible for running the day-to-day -day in neighboring South Suburban communities is now under federal indictment. Federal prosecutors say Keith Freeman, the village administrator in both Dalton and Thornton Township, repeatedly lied when he filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. Oh, Keith, it'd be Keith, 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 it was all good a week ago. And then you had to go ahead and get greedy. There is a theme that it seems to be going on amongst some of the African Americans in political statuses. And it's starting to crumble for Dalton Township. And I certainly believe, like I said in the live stream, that they're going after him to get someone under Big Tiff so that they can go ahead and go get Big Tiff, who is the big fish. And I think it's starting to crumble. But wait, there's more. The indictment says it was in part his title and salary in Dalton that was central to Freeman's lies to the feds. Dalton trustees say Freeman's position at Village Hall has been a question for some time. It was a lot of controversy on whether or not he was uh, an employee or if he was contracted. Now they're saying that he didn't list this information, so that's a problem. In the indictment, prosecutors say Keith Freeman, quote, made several false statements and omissions in the document, including knowingly underreporting income from his employment as both the village administrator for Dalton and the municipality manager for Thornton Township. And prosecutors say Freeman lied under oath, claiming, quote, he was not an employee of Dalton and that he did not receive a payment from Dalton. The interesting part about all this, as we said in the live stream, is the fact that people act like this stuff can't be found out. I mean, you're just going to blatantly lie. You're going to be on TV every night right alongside your daggone uh, boss, knowing that, you know, she's under scrutiny. The whole town is under scrutiny. There's issues and concern because he just did this in January 2024, filed for this BKO and still lied and still gave out allegedly a false 1040 like the IRS couldn't find that out. A month later, the indictment says his Dalton paycheck went directly into an undisclosed bank account. And if he can't handle his own business, how in the world can he handle ours? Freeman has been a close ally of embattled Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Longtime residents and frustrated leaders of Dalton say this federal fraud charge against Administrator Keith Freeman is a relief. You know, we've been waiting for some justice to be served. At the next board meeting, if he show up, I'll ask him to step down again because he's an embarrassment to this community. We have repeatedly tried to reach Keith Freeman by phone over the past few hours, but all of those calls have gone directly to voicemail. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago says Freeman will be scheduled for an arraignment before a federal judge at a future date. Big Tiff, I hope you're getting your ducks in a row, Big Tiff. All oh, this is about you. Now, Tiff has been quiet lately, y'all. She hasn't been out here running off at the mouth. No more podcasts, anything like that. She shows up to her meetings and runs off at the mouth. But she's not out here running off at the mouth the way that she used to. Maybe she finally knows that the walls are closing in. It takes all this in order for someone to finally be taken down. And like I said before, it seems to be a theme going on amongst the black police. A WGN investigates was first to report today a top aide to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard has been indicted for bankruptcy fraud. It comes amid ongoing questions about Henyard's spending and leadership. And legal experts say it could be the first sign that the feds are trying to get people to share what they know about potential government corruption in the South suburbs. Let's be smarter than that. This is, this is not just the price is right. Despite sitting next to Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard at countless meetings, the feds allege Keith Freeman not only failed to report his income from the village, he actively lied about it. Freeman is Henyard's top aide in both Dalton and Thornton Township. As part of a personal bankruptcy case, he was required to report his earnings. But the same way that anyone else who files for bankruptcy, they have to report their earnings so that they can use that information to determine what you can and cannot afford. 
according to one of you guys in the chat, where he's living is a pretty expensive area. So if you going around here trying to claim that you filing for bankruptcy, one would think that your expensive house would be in foreclosure or be behind on some payments. Now we can't confirm or deny that that's true, but I swear people just don't think things through. They just do anything that comes to their daggone brain. Who cares about the detriment? You're probably making more money you've ever made in your daggone life and you still manage to F it up. How does the community continue to F it up when they finally get some sort of substance and then find a way to ruin it all in order to be where now? In jail, potentially? This indictment on one count of bankruptcy fraud says Freeman falsely stated he only worked for the township and made just over $99,000 last year. Prosecutors say he tried to hide his Dalton earnings via a pass-through company, which brought his income to $195,000 last year. They further allege the village of Robbins has a claim against Freeman for more than $90,000 he took without authorization from a previous post he held as village administrator there. This is long coming. If a person can lie on their own financials, what do you think they're doing for the village? Nobody is untouchable. That's what I really I want to say. Nobody is untouchable. So if this is just uh, the first domino to so all of them falling, let it happen. Hello, Dick Bradley. How you feeling? Freeman is a key player in our reporting on Tiffany Henyard because of how many roles he plays for her. That's a key point right there. As many roles as you play play for Big Tiff and you still going to go out here and allegedly lie and put out false documentation and create accounts that don't really exist, divert your daggone money, do everything illegally, knowing daggone well that she's being scrutinized and the whole town is being scrutinized and you still choose to do wrong. Like, like this is half damn crazy. I'm sorry, I hate to keep saying this, but this makes no sense. The, are these intelligent people? In addition to the Dalton and Township jobs, Freeman also, for a time, was the registered agent of the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking, moving like we do right That's thing. Right. Right. While Henyard's namesake charity claims to help cancer patients, WGN Investigates has reported it received most of its early money from taxpayers and has failed to file required paperwork showing how it spends its money. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Huh? There you go. That's all you're getting from me. That's all you're getting from me today. How come the charity hasn't filed uh, its financial disclosures about how money was spent? How would I know that? That's a good question, though. Everything is all fun and games until it's not. But we will remember this, that conversation, and that pat, if slash when, allegedly, you end up in handcuffs and on your way to daggone jail. For months, WGN Investigates has reported on questionable conduct on Henyard's watch, including unexplained travel, including first-class airfare and fine dining on the taxpayer's dime. Credit card statements show Freeman was on many of the trips, including one to Las Vegas, where another Henyard aide now claims a Dalton trustee sexually assaulted her. Others accuse Henyard of using Freeman and other government employees to retaliate against her opponents. Court watchers say the feds could use the bankruptcy charge against Freeman to get him to cooperate in other investigations. When the feds are looking at a larger scheme or relationship, oftentimes what they have to do is go for people who are below or the lower part of the food chain, get them for something, charge them with something, because that's the leverage they need to be able to sit down with that person and say, now, if you help us, life might be good for you. If you don't help us, you're in a lot of trouble. Now, what do you want to do? So I said one down, about 25 more to go. That woman is everywhere. Shout out to her, though. Um, hopefully this is coming to an end. We on watch, y'all. You see anything, let me know, because it's about time. This is what we've been waiting for. Hopefully someone is thinking that maybe they should hold off on the Lori Lightfoot because maybe the dominoes are finally crumbling. There's only but so long that people are going to continue to get away with crap that they're doing like this. This doesn't make any sense. And then they try to use the race card as usual, and people are just tired. 
They can keep on playing these stupid games that they want to play stupid games, win stupid prizes. It doesn't matter if you're black or not. You can't just do whatever the hell it is that you want to do and then think that everybody's supposed to come and support you. Again, hopefully the Dalton community has learned a daggone lesson and they don't just put any old body, any old person in and ignore the past and anything that they've said or done, especially since a community like this for the most part knows one another and not necessarily to always vote for daggone Democrats, because that seems to be a common theme as we go through all of these daggone politicians. So I ain't even going to say good luck. Uh, good luck to the residents. I give my good luck to the daggone residents. And again, hopefully they get what the hell it is that they need. Child, if they come up with trials, y'all, mm, mm, mm. I still ain't going to Dalton, but we going to watch it. Anyway, make sure y'all like this daggone video. Subscribe if you are new. Comment. I see you all in the next one. We do not care.